Guys, we are live here, uh, ready for some Thursday night baseball breaks. Sorry for getting on a little bit late here, kind of a crazy day, um, so just trying to get through everything, uh, but getting everything ready now and ready to go. Hopefully you all are having a good day. Um, the weather is very nice here, which is definitely a big bonus, um, but we'll go ahead and get into everything here. Hopefully you all can hear me and see the background okay. Uh, I just have to grab a box cutter real quick. I'll be right back. I always seem to forget that. I'm going to run and grab that. Well, plot twist, I have no idea where my box cutters went, so we'll use scissors that way I don't have to delay it, which is kind of disgusting because no one likes scissors, but what's going on? Nick, how's it going? Israel, good luck. TJW, hopefully you're doing well. Good luck to you as well. But let's go ahead and get into it here. Um, one quick note, it says Topps Chrome update in the picture in the description. My Topps Chrome update didn't come. Um, so instead of delaying it, I figured I'd just upgrade the box. Topps Chrome update's like a $90 box. Um, Topps Chrome Black is like a $140 box, so threw this in to replace that. Um, I think that's more than a fair replacement, so hopefully uh, that makes everybody happy at least. Um, but should be fun, a little bit spicier box, so Topps Chrome Update can be kind of junky, so hopefully provides a little bit bigger hit. What's going on, Tim? Good luck tonight, AEW. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you're doing well. Some Team Wong, let's get it on. Agreed. All right, so let's go over here to our randomizer. Yeah, I love Topps Chrome Black. Awesome product. We've had some pretty decent stuff out of it too. Um, but let's go ahead and get into it. So 28 spots, um, there are some combos. So we've got Rockies Orioles combo, and um, the other one is the Athletics and the Marlins. So paste the names in here. Um, and first we roll the dice, roll these to see how many times are random. Go subscribe to ZB1. So we've got five times. Everything will be random five times. Any multiplayer cards will be random as well. Those will be random five times. So good luck, everybody. Randomizing the names five times. Once, twice, uh, three times, four times, and five. Up top, Troy E down to Travis W at the bottom. So go ahead and paste those over here. I'm a little bit under the weather, so if I sound super congested, that's why. Um, or was a little under the weather. I feel better today, but getting through everything here. Um, so next up, we've got our teams. So Diamondbacks up top down to the Nationals. Go over here. All right, so five times. Good luck, everybody. Once, and again, thank you all for buying in. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, we might be taking a break next week from doing breaks uh, just for a week and then recoup and do some more uh, the week after. Um, twice, three times, four times, and good luck everybody, last one. Five, Rockies, Orioles up top, down to the Pirates on the bottom. Let's go ahead and get this pasted over here. Bang, and make it so you can read it. Alrighty, there we go. So. We've got Troy E up top with the Rockies Orioles, Israel V with the Royals, Nicole e. M with the Yankees, Tim W with the Phillies, Tim W with the Nationals, Mark C with the Astros, Kendall M with the Mariners, Doug G with the Rangers, Tim W with the Athletics Marlins, Robert G with the Angels, Brent L with the Red Sox, Israel V with the Padres, Michael R with the White Sox, Nicholas B with the Twins, Jason R with the Reds. Jacob M with the Mets, David V with the Diamondbacks, Jason H with the Guardians, Mark Chatney L with the Braves, Travis W with the Giants, Benjamin B with the Brewers, Christopher P with the Cardinals, Israel V with the Rays, Doug G with the Tigers, Jacob M with the Dodgers, Tim W with the Cubs, Robert B with the Jays, and Travis W with the Pirates. So there you go, everybody. There are your teams. If you missed it in the beginning, uh, Topps Chrome Update didn't come. 
So I replaced it with a Topps Chrome black box from 2022. There's one box of 2022 Chrome Update. It's like an $85 box. This is more like $140 box. So add a little bit more value there for you all and threw that in uh, to replace it. Didn't want to delay the break for, if it was triple threads, would have delayed it, um, but just didn't come in. UPS has been super slow recently. It's been taking forever, uh, which kind of stinks, um, but I guess that's just how it goes. So. I'll give everybody a minute. If anybody wants to do any trading, you're more than welcome to. Um, but if not, we'll just go ahead and get into it here. So it should be fun. I'll probably start off with some Prism Quick Pitch, then do Finest, Tier 1, Finest, Top Scrum Black, and then Triple Threads, or Finest, Top Scrum Black, Finest, Triple Threads, something like that. So uh, if there's no trades, give people another minute here in case they want to do anything. Pirates, nice, bring on Rohanzi. That's exactly it. Who did we get faked out? I forget what box it was, but a week or two ago got completely faked out. What's going on, Mark? How are you doing? Hopefully you're doing well. Um, I'll have some cards for you back from grading here next week, Mark, or should be next week. That'll be coming back. Fun to see how those do. Send in some USFL cards, some of the cool, I think it's 84 USFL, so that was pretty fun to see. So hoping those do really well for you. All right, well, no trades it looks like, so let's go ahead and get into it. I was hoping to make it to Chantilly. I loved that show last year, um, but didn't end up uh, going, couldn't book it. Um, let's go ahead and start here with Prism Fast Break. That honestly, Chantilly is one of my favorite shows. Um, that show rules. Uh, last year had so much fun there. The great card show uh, down in Chantilly, Virginia, which is just outside of Washington, D.C. Um, I don't know if maybe you know the area a little bit better than I do. I think it's like 30, 40 minutes from D.C. So let's go ahead and get into some Prism Quick Pitch. So for those of you that don't know, I didn't really know this either, but I think Panini is done making baseball. Um, their MLBPA license expired, uh, so they can't actually make baseball anymore. You can find the breaks on our website, upnorthcollectors.com. That's where you can go ahead and purchase a spot if it's something you're interested in doing. What's going on, Walker? How are you? We've got a Red Wave, Brandon Woodruff. That one's going to be numbered to 99. And then we've got a super off-centered Manny Machado there for the Padres, also numbered to 99 which is pretty cool, uh, except it is so, so off-centered. All right, let's go ahead and get into the next pack. Very blurry. Is it blurry for everybody else or just you, Mark? Let me know. Is it blurry for you guys too? I'll wait a second. Everyone else, you could let me know if it's super blurry for you guys. Good for you guys, not blurry. Okay, might just be you, Mark. Uh, Siri rookie, Miggy. Okay, cool, thanks guys, thank you. On my end, it's impossible to know if it's blurry for you guys or not, unless it looks bl blurry on my end, but other than that, I have no idea. Um, and then we've got a Dory Moretta, Blue Disco, number two, 199. Thanks for letting me know. Hopefully you all had fun watching. I really enjoyed watching the end of the World Baseball Classic. That was a ton of fun to see Otani and Trout uh, face off against each other like that. It was awesome. I had a few Otani cards that I picked up in Chicago listed on eBay. And during that game, I kid you not, during that uh, at bat or within 10 minutes after, they all just got someone picked them all up, like different people. I just went and uh, bought it now, all of them. Uh, so it was pretty crazy um, to see how much of an effect that had on Otani's stuff. But it was pretty fun to watch. Uh, Javier, number two, 199. The players really seem to care about it this year, which is cool. Um, you know, a lot of times you get that stuff where the people just don't really care, but this year it seemed like the players actually cared a lot, uh, meant a lot to them, it seemed like. So obviously didn't get all the big names, but a lot of them were playing, which was fun. Warren McGuire, Seth Beer, and for the Braves, Kyle Mueller, number two, 99, Red Disco. Uh, I do. So I have quarter boxes, uh, 50 cent boxes, and I have dollar boxes. TEW, what's going on? And then also I have prices marked. What keeps you motivated, brother, to breaking packs? The brands are begging to say, who cares? Interesting take, uh, but fair. Um, I think that in some cases that the stuff you can get huge returns on, and someone has to open it to get singles to people that want to collect them, right? So... Uh, we got a Reese Hoskins Gold Disco, which is pretty sweet there. Heading out to the Phillies, number to 10. That's probably not a bad hit. 
any gold usually do uh, pretty well. I got a text today uh, or tomorrow, Prism Fast Break comes out. Um, and one of my distributors shipped something off. And uh, he told me that someone got the Kenny Pickett gold one of one auto, which is pretty crazy. Uh, Jersey, how are you doing? Did he, he tore his ACL? Did he, today he did? Oh, that stinks. He's a pretty solid player too. Yeah, the terrible timing. Pujols and a Rod Carew. He like totally blew out his knee. What, in spring training today or what? That stinks. It's like the second really big injury this year. Ugh. That's crazy. It's funny how little that card has a ton of damage. Cooper Kerwish, ACL. Yeah, he's definitely done then. Jansen Junk, Blue Disco to 199. We've got our auto here, guys. Good luck. It's a white disco. Pitcher, Joe Barlow against the Tigers, of course. Heading out to the Rangers, number to five. Whoa. Some low numbered action there for the Rangers. So not the biggest name, but hey, it's number to five. A couple low numbered things here. Pretty cool. So I can get my sleeves open. Don't have a little helper tonight, so got to do all the sleeving myself. But that's pretty cool. Joe Barlow, white disco auto. Yeah, that does say solid player. I mean, I, I like him. Uh, his stuff was in 2017 when we were ripping stuff. There's a nice torque rookie. Robbie Ray, uh, Hater. Just so you're aware, too, when you get this, a lot of these cards are pretty bowed. You can kind of see there. They're pretty warped. Um, that's usually how Prism goes, but... Turner, Trout, and Dominators, Josh Donaldson, number two, 199. Got some gold label coming in. I know that stuff just came out, so that could be kind of fun. I'm not a huge gold label fan. I think that's one of the products that Topps cut out also. I think they got rid of Topps gold label uh, completely for next year. So it'll be the last year of gold label, at least for now. That comes out or already came out, so I'll have some of that in the shop. Uh, Matt Vierling to 199. And last pack. Good luck, everybody. We've got a green. What do you do with all the base? Is it available in shop for set collectors? Yeah, so some of the base, so some of it, I kind of sort it. Um, so, like, I put, like, chrome. Uh, gold label looks garbo this year. The auto pulls. Yeah, I, I've seen it. Yeah, I know. The autos are brutal. Um, but some of the nice rookie stuff is cool. It's tough to hit the big rookies, obviously. But for the price, it's kind of fun. But I agree. There's better stuff out there. Um, but with the base stuff, I kind of sort it. So like Topps Chrome, Prism, that kind of stuff, I put that um, usually in like a dime box. Then I'll kind of filter through if there are any big superstars like Mahomes or Josh Allen. Those guys will go into like a quarter box. And then some of the stuff like Series 1 base or something, I just put in boxes. I'll sell them by the box. Depending on how much I have, I'll just give them away uh, depending on what it is. But yeah, usually I usually like to have some stuff available for set collectors. Um, that they can, you know, pick up or just sort through and find what they're looking for or guys that like to pick out cheap rookies or whatever it might be. So in this stuff, it's not. So stained glass is a common insert in Prism Baseball, which is crazy. Uh, there's a Trey Turner blue mojo, and that's number two, 149. And then we've got a Cal Ripken numbered out of 199. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, Joel, how's it going? I am doing it. Pretty good. Next pack here. We've got Gilbert, Stott, Moran, uh, TJ Friedel, Andre Jackson, Degoti, Yadier Molina, Tyler O'Neill, and a bronze disco of Josh Donaldson, number 240. Prison Baseball this year is actually kind of – like the hobby boxes kind of went up a lot. I sold a lot of Prison Baseball hobby when it came out. So it was a, it was a fun rip for the price. It was cheap. Um yeah, definitely. Yeah, come by. Uh, we like to have a lot of uh, that kind of stuff available. Dime boxes, quarter boxes, cheap stuff, uh, you know, some high-end stuff. I don't do a ton of high-end stuff. Um, you know, it's kind of tough to move. It's not as easy to move as people think. So I do do some uh, with high-end, but not as much as some other guys do. Focus more on like $500 and under stuff. That's kind of my specialty. Looks like we have our auto in here. So good luck, everybody. Valdi, Blake Snell, McCovey, Santillan. On the back, we've got a bronze disco of Tyler McGill, number to 40. And we'll do it this way so we don't give it away right away. It's going to be for the Pirates, Rodolfo Castro. So not quite the uh, uh, Rowanzi Contreras you were looking for. But hey, Rodolfo Castro, blue disco auto. Not too shabby. He actually has a really nice auto. That's cool. 
Uh, and that's numbered 14 of 50. So a nice lower numbered auto there. Not as cool as out of five, but still pretty good. Get into the next pack. Got a nice Bobby Witt rookie. Eloy, I've been picking up some Bobby Witt stuff. I was at a show, um, I think the stuff moving well in the hobby. Yeah, it, it, much better than Curtis Terry. Yes, I would agree. And there's a Cooper Criswell Blue Disco. That's numbered to 199 as well. So I was going through, good for online, but for the regular guys and kids that lower stuff. Yeah, exactly, exactly, agreed. I was in Chicago. I love going through them too. I was in Chicago at the Sports Spectacular last weekend. Awesome show, super fun. Uh, but was, there's a nice Spencer Torkelson silver for the Tigers. That's cool. Not numbered, but sweet. I was going through somebody's box. They had all of their, um, what was it? It was, there's a Josh Hader Blue Disco to 199 uh, Yeah, I'll be at the National. I'm hoping to be set up at the National, potentially. Uh, I got to see if I can buy somebody's table, but I'm kind of planning on potentially setting up. So we'll see, um, but might be setting up this year. Um, but yeah, so, uh, anyway, I was going through somebody's box. They had a dollar box, uh, and in there they had all kinds. They, I bought like 35 Bobby Witt, just base, but they were tops update base rookies, uh, for a buck a piece, which I thought was a great deal. I was about a bunch of them. Uh, just got a submission back from SGC. I love SGC. So I'm a bulk submitter. If you ever are submitting stuff with SGC, uh, you can send it to me. You save a little bit on shipping. Uh, you know, I end up saving a little bit overall. It's 18 bucks a card. Um, but I send, you know, a ton of stuff to SGC. I actually have to film a reveal video after this tonight because I got a bunch of your guys' cards here uh, that are going to be going off. Um, but, yeah, I do a ton of stuff with SGC. The return is great, especially on, like, baseball stuff. I do a ton with baseball with them. Baseball seems to move the best. Uh, modern stuff, some does, some doesn't. Like, if you have a Luka Doncic base prism rookie, I would say go PSA with it all day long. But if you have a, a Paulo Bencaro hoops auto that you want to get back in five days, send it to SGC and you'll still get a nice bump on it. So uh, there's different use cases for each of the companies, but I use SGC all the time myself. Uh, definitely has uh, been really, really good for me and for the shop. I've had a ton of people send stuff off with them. Never had any issues. Uh, here we got a Pena. And a lot of the high-end stuff, I've been posting some pictures. I got a 52 Mantle, some of that stuff, helping a guy uh, go through and sell that stuff. So, hey, thanks, 543 Collectibles. Thanks for jumping in. I appreciate it. And there's an Austin Riley Blue, number two, 199. Cool. So that does it for Prism Quick Pitch. All right, quick, move the trash real quick. I'll be back in 20 seconds, one second. Sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and do Finest next. Finest has been very, very good to us, except the last box we opened kind of stunk, so I just ignore my scissors that I'm using. I feel terrible using the scissors. I guess that's what you gotta do. All right, <clears throat> Finest time. Good evening, y'all. Rasani, how are you? Hopefully you're doing well. Thanks for jumping in for a minute. Appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get some fire out of here. We'll do Tops Chrome Black after this. See if we can hit some more fire. Pretty loaded mixer. See, if I, we haven't pulled a booklet or anything from Triple Thread. So I'd love to get one of those. I posted it on Instagram and I did, I actually have to post, I've got a YouTube video too that'll be coming out with some of my pickups from Chicago. Um, and in there, I had a Tony Gwen uh, one of one booklet from Triple Threads. That was just incredible. It was such a cool card. Um, actually already sold that one. Had it listed on eBay and it sold in a couple hours. Uh, it was pretty awesome. Uh, but the card itself was just stupid cool. All right, good luck everybody. Pack number one of Finest and we might have our autograph in the first pack. If we do, good luck. We've got Ryan Vlad, Matt Manning, Jordan, Pete Alonzo, and rookie for the Rockies. Seriously, Shortprint Strider Prism Auto. Yes, that's a great deal for 60 bucks. First autograph going to the Rockies is a Colton Welker uh, Silver Auto for the Rockies. I believe that's a combo spot, so nice auto for you guys. Cool. It's got some potential, Colton Welker, young guy. So, hey, 
Not too shabby there. Let's see if we can pick it up though a little bit. I think this is gonna be another auto potentially. If it is, good luck. If it is, it's a green wave. I don't know if I've seen a green wave auto before. Good luck. McCutcheon, De La Cruz, Tatis. And it's a catcher. I think this is Cal Raleigh, if I had to bet. You can get into the breaks on our website, upnorthcollectors.com. Was it Riley Adams? It's a 99 Riley Adams. That one's going to the Nationals. Awesome looking card. That green uh, wave looks awesome. Uh, but Riley Adams, not exactly who we're looking for. I know Manistee is a big tourist destination. Ask the out-of-state customers where they're from, and over time you get an idea of the most tourists are from. And yeah, exactly, for sure. Add that team to the shop. Good idea. Yeah, I'll definitely be doing that, um, taking some polls or whatever and seeing where, where people are from. Definitely will be interesting. I live in a big tourist area. I already get people from all over the place. A lot of Chicago, though. Chicago seems to be the... There's a, for the Rangers, Marcus Simeon Green to 125. Uh, Chicago seems to be the biggest tourist area. Some like Milwaukee, Green Bay area. Um, then a lot of just all over the place from Puerto Rico to California to wherever. It's pretty crazy. Got some more color over here. We've got an Arenado. I'm in Manistee, Michigan. So it's Northern Michigan. There's an Arenado and a Carlos Correa Blue Vapor. Uh, Manistee, Michigan. Oh, this card is destroyed. Look at this thing. See that line in it? That's like, like it's textured. You can feel it. That, I'll throw in an extra pack for you uh, to the twins. That stinks. I'll take care of you on that one. Uh, probably isn't worth getting replaced by tops, but I'll take care of you on it. I'll give you a refund or something. Make sure that that gets taken care of because that's pretty beat up. There's your Rowanzi Contreras. Uh, anyway, I'm in Manistee, Michigan, so it's northern Michigan. Uh, it's up right on Lake Michigan on the west side of the state. Uh, it's a beach town, a uh, big time beach town. So it's a really cute area. It's really fun. Um, in the winters here, it's pretty dead though. There's not much going on. The summers are just insane. Uh, so definitely an interesting dynamic. Bryson Stott, yeah, exactly. Big quality control blunder. I know the Fanatics guys have been on a couple of podcasts, a couple of different reps and talking about it. And I know they're going to get try to you know correct this stuff. So see if it actually happens or not. There's a Gavin Sheets, Finest Rookies. Jose Siri and Edward Cabrera, but hopefully it does. You know, it'd be really nice to see them actually take some action there and, and fix stuff like that. There's Tomas, Steve Carlton. We've got a blue rookie, Rockies, Ryan Vlad. What player am I currently collecting? Good question. There's a Bobby Witt rookie uh, right there. Uh, I am collecting right now a couple of different guys. Um, so I, uh, <laughs> fair, um, I am looking for, there's a nice Wander Franco refractor rookie, uh, but I am looking for, um, some Michael Jordan stuff, some Brady stuff, baseball wise. I've been stashing some Wander Francos, some Bobby Witts, uh, a little bit of Julio Otani stuff. I always love to pick up cool Otani stuff. Uh, so I'm trying to stash some of that stuff too, but just kind of a variety of things. I don't have a cut like a specific. I like the Red Sox, but I don't really like any of their players big time right now. So haven't been picking up a ton of that stuff, but a little bit of it here and there. Behind it, we got a green shimmer. Acuna, that's pretty cool for the Braves. Um, that one is going to be numbered to 175. I missed somebody else's chat here. Uh, right on, nice to be here. Uh, I'm 35 minutes from Cooperstown Hall of Fame. Oh, cool. I've been there. We went there as a family a couple of years ago. Like, four or five years ago, awesome. Uh, would totally recommend anybody who was ever in that the general area to take a day and go to the Hall of Fame. Uh, totally worth it, pretty crazy. Um, I've heard they've been adding some cards and stuff to it too in a couple of different spots. So that'd be pretty cool to see. Uh, next up, let's go ahead and do Topps Chrome Black. Let's go ahead and get into this one. See what we can get out of here. Hopefully something cool. Yeah, it's a nice area too. It's actually really cool. Uh, it was different than what I'm expecting. I'm not, I haven't been in upstate New York a lot or in New York that much in general. So it's pretty cool to see. Um, so we've got our card here and then the auto. Don't want to give the auto away. Pull this out here. All right, we've got the pack. So good luck, everybody. Do the pack first. See if we can hit something cool. Got a Devers up top. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Kettle Marte 
and Muskegon playing a trip to see her. Oh, awesome. Yeah, that's pretty close by. We've got a rookie for the Phillies, uh, Brandon Marsh. That card looks awesome. Very, very cool. Atomic uh, rookie right there, number 299. Comes a big Bobby Wood. I hope so for you. That'd be awesome. So a sweet Brandon Marsh there. Number 299. And let's get a good auto here. I mean, Topps Chrome can be hit or miss. Uh, is your shop... What was the question? Uh, yeah, so I have a shop up here in Manistee, Michigan. Yeah, I own the I own the store up here. Uh, it's not online, so I have a brick-and-mortar store. Uh, but yeah, it is. So it's just Up North Collectors. Uh, Kyle Mueller Topps Chrome Black Autograph for the Braves. Okay, not exactly what we were hoping for. That's kind of tough. <laughs> But a nice one for the Braves. Definitely will take it. You know, nice top scrum black auto for them. But not the big, big banger we were hoping for. Still have a couple of really nice products to go. Let's go ahead and do the second box of Top's Finest here. Let's get one of the big rookie autos out of here. Let's see something huge. Last week, we didn't have the best luck. So let's see if we can pick it up this week and pull some fire out. Would love to hit something big. I haven't had any super crazy baseball pulls in the store this week. I've had a couple of pretty cool things come out, but nothing wild. I had a cool Bobby Wood Jr. action variation come out from high number. And then had a, a couple other sweet things. I'm trying to remember what they were, but there are a couple other pretty cool autos that got hit. Um, let's grab some cool stuff. Let's get to the next one here. All right, there we go. Empty. Good luck. Let's see, I'm going to save the top pack just in case they're the auto again. What's going on, carddeal.com? How are you doing? So we've got beef right on the back. I'm going to jinx ourselves. This might be the auto. We've got Jordan. I did not. I did look for you, but I did not pick anything up. We've got a Pena rookie, Corbin Burns. We've got a Jordan finest and finest rookies. Uh-oh. Julio. That's pretty sweet. Julio Rodriguez, finest rookies. And it is numbered sweet to 99. That's awesome. 76 of 99 for the Mariners. Julio Rodriguez, numbered rookie. Very, very sweet. That's cool. I've never hit one of these before. I've opened quite a bit of Finest, and I've not pulled one of these. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, finest rookies, numbered card there. Very cool. We'll take it. We'll take it. Can't go wrong with numbered Julio. Dude's a stud. Excited to see him play this year. Uh, we've got a purple in this pack. So we've got a Nick Allen. Saya, he could be good too. Brian De La Cruz, Tatis, and purple rookie for the Twins. Jose Miranda, purple. That one will be numbered to 250 there. So that's pretty cool. Going out to the Twins, getting a couple of numbered cards for you guys. Next pack. <clears throat> See if we can get anything. I might have a die cut in this one. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Nolan Arenado. I was wrong. But no die cut. Marcus Simeon. What's going on, Eloy? How are you doing? Eloy's got a sweet obsidian break posted up. Uh, if you guys like football at all, check him out. He's doing an obsidian pick your team. I wanted to buy the Lions in it, but the Lions sold right away. Uh, but he does have some really awesome teams available in that. So make sure to go check him out. Uh, check out his YouTube channel as well. Awesome guy. Uh, I missed the alert. YouTube messes with subscriber. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's not really something I can control, unfortunately, but I've heard that before from a couple of people, and it's happened on my end, too, that the alerts have been kind of messed up. So glad that you made it. I've got a Correa, DeGrom, Eloy Jimenez, Cornerstones, Devers, and an Elbies. So we've got six packs left to go. Still have our autos. Uh, Jared Duran, rookie. Max Muncy, our Fractor, Rowanzi Contreras, and a nice Wander rookie. That's cool. Would love to hit a Wander autograph at some point. We have not gotten one. Uh, oh, sweet. Uh, and then we've got a blue. Nice. Speak of the devil, we were just talking about him earlier. Sweet Otani numbered card. Very cool for the Angels. We will take it. That one is... Numbered out of 300. And yeah, that'd be awesome. would appreciate it if you hit the like button. That'd be very cool. Uh, but there's a sweet Otani, numbered to 300. So been a pretty good box so far with the numbered stuff. Let's keep it up. Hit some big autos here. Yeah. Four more packs to go. 
Bryson Stott, Alex Tomas, Salvador Perez, favorite player to collect. Uh, someone just asked us a little bit ago. Um, Julian Edelman is my biggest PC player, though. That's the guy that I collect hardcore. Uh, I have tons of his stuff. I also pick up a lot of kickers. So NFL kickers like Vinatieri. Uh, love picking up. Uh, what's his face? Um, oh, goodness. I am blanking right now. Pat McAfee. Love picking up McAfee stuff. Justin Tucker. All those guys. So love picking up kickers as well. So should have two autos. Edelman was. Yeah, I love picking up Edelman. Two autos here. Good luck, everybody. First one's going to be a blue. Let's see something cool. Springer, Abrams, Kershaw, and good luck. Blue rookie for the Pirates, please. Yeah, we do. So my dad does that too, so he collects a lot of those. Um, oh, it's not who I was hoping for, but still nice. Hoy Park, blue auto for the Pirates, number to 150. We still haven't hit that Rowanzi for you. I think it's Troy that has them. Still have not hit them, but hey, it, it'll come. Don't worry. But a nice one there, number to 150 for the Pirates. Pretty sweet. And next auto. Good luck, everybody. Let's see something huge here. Come on. It is a green. That's cool. Love the greens. There's a nice Bobby Witt up top. Melendez, Mike Trout, Jose Ramirez, and good luck on the auto. It's going to be a rookie going to the Astros to 99. Ronnie Dawson, rookie green lava autograph. I don't know much about Ronnie Dawson, but sweet looking card. Those green waves look awesome. Really nice card heading out to the Strohs there. So mixing it up, getting another team a hit there. Not too shabby. We will take it. That was a pretty good box of finest. That Julio was nice. I have no idea what that means, TJW. Not sure. I don't speak that one, unfortunately. But a nice Ronnie Dawson out of there. That's cool. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get into the spicy stuff here. So we have tier one and then triple threads. Let's go ahead and do tier one first. So in tier one, you get two autograph cards and one relic card. So just three cards in here, but you can definitely hit some fire. So let's see. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> I like it. There you go. All right, so thin little pack here. Best of luck. I don't want to give anything away. All right, so we got our three cards. There's one thicker one on front. Oops. Gold label and the charity break. Yeah, so check it out. Eli's got all the breaks going on, so make sure to head over to his website. Check it out. These do not open very kindly. All right, there we go. All right, so up top, going to the Cubbies. Jason Hayward to 399 game used patch for the cubs i've got two autos good luck first one going to the tigers gonna be a casey mize for the tigers number to 299 cool card nice auto there on the casey mize should be pretty solid and behind it going to good luck can't tell it looks like another pitcher though Walker Bueller for the Dodgers, not too shabby. Uh, I think he's coming back this year. That one's also to 299. So two pitcher autos there, which is not exactly what you're looking for. Two base pitchers. That's kind of how tier one can be, though. It can be really awesome, but it can be kind of tough too. Uh, but a nice Walker Bueller to 299 there on card autograph. So nothing really to write home about there. But let's pick it up in triple threads. Last box. Good luck, everybody. If you haven't hit yet, hopefully we get you something in here. We'll have hitless packs going out to you all as well. I've been doing it where if you really, really don't get anything or have a couple of spots or something and don't hit anything, uh, make sure that I hook you guys up, get you either a better pack or a couple of other uh, packs, you know, so kind of hook you guys up a little bit. So, again, I really appreciate you all uh, jumping into these. There's pack one. So waiting to see that pack come out that's going to be super, super thick. Pack number two. Pack feels a little thicker. We'll do this one first. Good luck, everybody. Triple threads time. We've hit some fire out of triple threads before. Doesn't look like any super mega. Actually, they're two pretty thin cards in this one. But let's see. Do we have a... Oh, no, we don't. Okay. So here we go. Good luck. Go from the back here. 
We've got <clears throat> Ronald Acuna to 299 for the Braves. Nice Ricky Henderson. That's cool. Out of 150 for the A's. Sweet card. Jacob DeGrom for the Mets. Roy Campanella. That's cool. And a Johnny Bench. So our two cards next year should be our hits. This is cool. Sweet. That's awesome. For the Cardinals, Yadier Molina. That's the, uh, what does it say? Sibling Rings. Number to 27. Very sweet there. Purple patch to 27. They call it not purple. It's something else. But still very cool for the Cardinals. I love these. These actually sell very well too. But very, very cool there. Nice hit for the cards. And behind it, we should have our auto to 199 for the Diamondbacks. A Alec Tomas rookie autograph on card, a rookie auto there out of 199. I can't either. I thought he still had some years left, but you know, different strokes for different folks. Uh, but there's a nice Alec Tomas on card auto for the Diamondbacks. So very cool. Definitely did not make the 450 bucks back on this box though. But this pack has some serious uh, chunk to it. So let's see. And we got one really beefy card. Let's see what we can do here. Good luck. So we got one super thick one. Two purples. Three months. Yeah, I guess I guess he's busy. Yeah, I guess so. All right, we've got a Jose Ramirez to 2.99. A Luis Robert out of 150. We've got a Buster Posey. Trevor Story and a Randy Johnson. And first up, going to the Reds, Jonathan India is going to be our patch autograph. And that one is number to 75, so rookie of the year winner there for the Reds. Sweet patch auto. And right behind it, our patch card going to the Mariners, his Jared Kalenic, number to 36. Yeah, exactly. You just stand there. Uh, but Jared Klenick numbered out of 36 there for the Mariners. So that does it, guys. Thank you all for jumping in tonight. I really do appreciate it. Uh, that definitely was kind of a tough box. Uh, actually, the last two there were pretty tough. Um, yeah, that was, <laughs> that was tough. But, yeah, thank you all again for jumping in. Uh, I'll get everything shipped out for you guys tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, get it all packed up and shipped out. I appreciate you all jumping in. Lots of potential on that one, but did, just didn't really get much big, uh, unfortunately. That was pretty tough. Um, I think we're going to take a break next week um, from doing breaks. We'll take a week off and get back after it uh, the week after. Uh, but we'll take next week off. Um, thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, we'll do the next one in two weeks here. We'll do another break. Um, so, again, thank you all for jumping in. Really appreciate it. Like I said, we'll get this stuff shipped for you. So, really appreciate all of you. Uh, we'll get it out to you and have a great rest of your night. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. The discount I put up, if you bought two spots, it actually overcharged a couple of people. I'm going to go back and refund you for those, uh, make everything right. So I'll take care of that tonight. But thank you all again. Really, really appreciate it. And I'll catch you all soon.